Alright, yo, what is up, guys? It is Bazzi here today, back with another Fortnite video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is a pretty straightforward video. Basically, I'm going through my locker. We're going to find out some skins and pickaxes that I feel as if nobody uses anymore or that have been forgotten about inside of Fortnite. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty straightforward. Let me know in the comment section below if you still use any of these items that I mentioned in the video. And if you haven't already already, or haven't already already, how many times am I going to say already? Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it, guys. Have a great day and enjoy the video. Alrighty, guys, we are over here in my locker. We're going to be going over these items that uh, really you do not see much in Fortnite anymore, guys. So let's get straight into it, guys. Wasting no time here. So uh, this first skin, we guys, or this first skin we have, guys, uh, this is the Ace skin. I feel as if you do not see this one very, very fast at all. And this is definitely. One that has died very, very fast for a Battle Pass skin. Sorry, sorry, not a Battle Pass skin. A, uh, a Starter Pack skin. This was one of the most hyped up and uh, anticipated uh, Starter Pack skins. And I feel as if if I worked at Epic Games, I'd definitely be able to give you these uh, uh, statistics. But I reckon this would be the number one, you know, best-selling skin for a Starter Pack. But I don't know, guys. This was used so, so much. It died really Really quick, in my opinion. Like, I don't see anyone using this now. Uh, you know, not many people at all. And the older it gets, the less you're going to see it. So, for the for this only being less than a month old, like, this is... This is this is dropped dead, in my opinion, guys. I, I don't know if it's just because I'm not getting in lobbies that people are using this. Or you just don't see it much at all. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know. This skin's still the best out of the starter pack ones. Like, I can strongly tell you, and I can firmly... Still believe that, you know, this is the best Star Pack skin. But I don't know, guys. It died really, really fast. So, yeah, that is the ace, guys, for the first skin I feel as if no one uses anymore. So, all right, guys. This next skin we have here is definitely one that is super, super underrated, in my opinion, guys. And I am so, so angry that other people don't like this. But at the same time, like, that's all right. Because, you know, I got this skin. So, I'm sort of unique. No, Not many people use this skin. It's an absolutely amazing one, guys. And for that skin, we have the Rap Scallion, a part of the Jailbird set or the Robber or Thief skins. And I absolutely love these skins. Or this one in particular here, the Rap Scallion, the female version, is so, so clean and simple. I love her so, so much. Um, sort of gives off, gives off uh, those... Uh, Skull Trooper vibes if you're a fan of the Skull Trooper. This skin is looking very, very similar when it comes to colors, stripes, and all that type of stuff. Definitely one that I don't understand why you don't see this much at all. And super, super underrated in my opinion, guys, for an absolutely fantastic, uh, absolutely fantastic skin. And the back bling's also quite nice too. Like, the burgle bag's pretty nice. It goes really nice on the Elite Agent skin uh, right here. But yeah, guys, Rap Scallion, not used very much at all. So, moving on to the next one, guys. We have the first Battle Pass skin on here. And one that was super, super popular, guys. And so many people used at the start. But died off quite fast. And uh, this is the technique, guys. Now, I know it is from Season 3. I shouldn't have said died off quite fast. Because it definitely was super popular for a long period of time. I've never been the biggest fan of this skin, to be completely honest. I, I just don't think it's that great. Um... But it's not a bad skin at all. Uh, but yeah, you don't see this at all anymore. And it's not like just because it's a battle pass skin that people move on. Um, yeah, like you still see a lot of battle pass skins. Like for example, um, what can we say? The Omega from Season 4. I see that quite often. Anyone who really has Black Knight is using that. Uh, Sparkle Specialist, you know, Sunstrider. All that type of stuff you still see a really... Uh, frequently, but the technique is one of those battle pass skins that I think was so so popular Maybe everyone got sick of it and stopped using it But yeah for me this skin is one you don't see much anymore regardless of why Definitely something you will not be seeing in game very often guys. So moving on to the next one guys We have the havoc now the havoc my friends. I Was not a fan or well, actually I'm not a fan of this skin right now when it first came out, I was super, super into this skin. I really, really liked it. And for the first Twitch Prime skin, it was quite a cool thing to have. And I was really hyped when I got this. 
but I really hate this skin right now. It is actually the same as the Raptor, if you didn't know, as you can see. Literally the same body. Um, that's the Raptor. That's Havoc. It's got the uh, shotgun shots on these chests. It's got the Balakava. Um, did, I, did I say that right? I probably screwed that up there. The Balakava. Um, it's got the same furry sort of mane around his neck. It's pretty much the exact same from the knee pads to the ammo to everything. Um, but I just don't see this very much at all anymore. Uh, I don't like it. So I don't know if that's why people don't use it. It is the first Twitch Prime skin. So it's slightly rare. But yeah, guys, that is it for the Havoc. Moving on to the last skin we have till we move over to the pickaxes. Guys, we have the Reaper, aka John Wick. This was definitely the most used battle pass skin of all time. Definitely the most popular battle pass skin. And like, you guys know when you get to that point in the season where everyone's unlocking the last battle pass skin? Well, this one was definitely the most popular by far when it comes to battle pass skins at the end of a season. Like, you have the Omega, right? That was super popular. But like, everyone was using John Wick. This is definitely the most used and most popular battle pass skin in my opinion. I love it so, so much. You don't see it much anymore. I don't use it anymore. And it's one that died off quite fast, guys. So moving on to the next thing on this list, guys. Moving over to the pickaxes. We have three pickaxes here that you don't see very often anymore, guys. And the first one here is the trusty number two. The trusty number two. Oh, now that I think about it, it's actually part of the John Wick set. Maybe that's why, I don't know. Maybe the John Wick set has just seen the die out really fast, but... Um... Yeah, trust number two. I don't be seeing this much anymore. And you may be saying, Pastor, it's pickaxes. How do you even see pickaxes when, you know, you don't, you don't actually see people wearing pickaxes or holding them out the whole time? But you do start to notice pickaxes that are popular as you play this game a lot and you see people harvesting. And I feel as if the trust number two was a super popular one at the time. Um, it was one that a lot of people used with John Wick and it was just a great pickaxe overall. I really, really like it, but it's definitely one that you don't see. Um, very very often anymore guys so yeah i don't know let me know if you guys still use this i'd be interested to find out but to the next pickaxe guys that i do not see much anymore guys we have the party animal or the slurp pickaxe this is such a cool concept such a cool design i really really like the pickaxe and it was very very popular at one point i'd say season three season four um i really really like it you can see here you know, it has the splash, it's slurp, it's got the pipe with the slurp flowing down and from the keg at the top there. It's a very, very cool pickaxe, but it's really bulky and big. I stopped using it. I'm not the biggest fan of it anymore, guys. And the party animal is not one I see using very often anymore. And another one, another reason why I know this doesn't get used anymore is because you could hear this really, really easily. It's sort of like the pip squeak. It's got that sort of squeaking sounds or pickaxe like the acdc with the electronic sound like those pickaxes you hear really easily and that's got one of these sounds too so definitely won't be hearing that or seeing this pickaxe very often guys uh for the last pickaxe though we have on the list guys is another battle pass one and this is the onslaught guys the onslaught is one of my most hated pickaxes i hate this pickaxe i don't know what it is i'm just gonna say it right now i hate it i feel like this pickaxe is so so weird it's got a really bulky top it's really big at the top but the handle is like a twig. It, it, it makes no sense to my face. Like, it, it, I don't, I can't, I can't process that in my mind. Like, this pickaxe, I want to delete out of my locker. I mean it that much. I hate this pickaxe. And I feel as if, from the release, this pickaxe should have had col uh, color customization like the Omega himself. But, yeah, I hate this pickaxe. But you definitely don't see it much anymore. And it's interesting to see if we'll see pickaxes like the Permafrost and those Battle Pass skins. If they'll... Uh, die off as well as, as fast as the Onslaught did. Like, these Battle Pass pickaxes here. Um, it's interesting to see what will happen with them in the future. But I don't see Onslaught very much, guys. Let me know what you thought down below. That is basically for the video, guys. There is all the pickaxes and skins that I believe you don't see very much at all. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on the video. I'd appreciate it, guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day.